Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. I am the game mechanic, you know me well. I don't remember. I very much want to see if there's an opportunity to build Patala. I don't know if it's been built yet. That would be a fine wonder, I think, to go here. Also suggested that we could build Taj down here. I don't like that as much because I, I just like the, the, like if I'm gonna build a wonder here, I want it to give me a, a little extra culture and stuff like that. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but I think this is a, a decent spot for Taj. Um, so I think we'll try to make that happen. Harvest this next turn. Uh, maybe give you a mecha up. And yeah. So we can also start on Rur here in a second. Now I'm not going to get to harvest this uh, unless I'm patient. And I guess I can be patient. Because I would like the population. We can get up to 17 housing here. Um, and so I don't want to waste this marsh and just like override it. I still think I want to buy the factory. Because I don't know if I can be patient for 11 turns. Um, there's Taj. Huey's available. Maybe just build a builder. While this guy gets over here. That'll work. That'll work. We're gonna need more builders too. I could, I could definitely buy another one too. But let's buy this uh, factory for sure, and maybe we even buy the shipyard. It's six production for this city, and we're about to go for Rur. So, even the coal, like I could, I could just, I could just spend money. I think I like that. Let's do some diplomacy, shall we? Doesn't like turtles. Usually likes horses. That's fine. Decent. Was I going to use Reyna to buy the spaceports? Yeah, we can we can do that. I think that's what I was saving for. But we also have an amazing gold per turn. Uh, I think want to say spaceports are around like 7k. Um, something like that. So we could still maybe do that. But that's a good point, Dwarves. I, I had kind of forgotten about that. Not too worried, though. I think I still think I like buying the uh, production stuff here. We're up to 46 production without rear. And so I think if we can wait even 10 more turns, we can still buy one. And it's going to take us that to even tech to it, so. Move Magnus. I'll move Magnus in a minute. So, Patala is available. I haven't teched mysticism yet. That's kind of funny. Do I care? I can do this. This is actually a nice source of uh, power for us. Oh, no. Oh, that's... I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one. Car yeah. Cardiff is uh, power for harbor stuff. So we can take that. First time uh, suzerain as well. Buenos would be fine. It, it, um, swordsman. We're already Suzer in here. Don't really care about Granada too much. Yeah, I'd like to maybe do this. Train a swordsman. Do I have... Do I have a warrior or no? I can go right to civil engineering for the um, wonder card. I would like this merchant too for the Eureka. Hmm. So we're doing the harbor thing, that's good. We could be doing more science stuff. 
What goes here? Probably veteran C actually. That's my guess. I don't know how many harbor things we're building, but that seems okay. You're working on harbor stuff, so are you. Probably enough cities are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, veteran C actually looks gold good there. Um, okay, so what's up, Jeep? Maybe I'll just get some builders here. We still are running charges. Yes. Me too, Mythrock. Me, me too. Uh, all right. Uh, patches. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Maybe I should send these to our rear city. And frankly, for growth, like an internal, like high food one here would, would be good. Trade route wise. One DD Don the other day with Wilhelmina. Oh, wow. To prevent Chanda Good from winning a space race, you had to go full nukes. Nice. Uh, how do you improve your late game? Whew, I don't so know. Close to two years, I can almost taste it. <laughs> Dude, Ed, thank you so much for the tier two. Welcome back for 23 months. I appreciate that. And Nuke Migandi, uh, thank you for the three months as well. I appreciate that. Without seeing your save files or your games bigger, uh, Berger, um, I, I don't really know how, what advice to give you to improve your late game, right? Like there, there could be a lot of answers to that question. Um, Viria, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. There goes Casa. Uh, that sounds awesome, Patches. If you have questions, please let us know. Um, I try to explain my thought process at the very least, but I don't always. I'm not always great at that. Do I spend this money just for a... I mean, the envoys here are relevant. This isn't the worst, I think. It gives us a, a, a decent culture boost. Gives us two more envoys. Costs 2200 which is really expensive. But also, it's a bunch of era score. And I think we, we could maybe use that this era. I think I like it. This is dumb. Yeah, I, I dig it. I dig it. Wait, nah, I want to grab it now. Oh, you mean wait of that? Like two more turns? Yeah, we could have waited two more turns. I, I, I thought you were like wait for the merchant itself, but no. Um, let's yeah, let's go ahead and take advantage of the veterancy card and get our shipyards up and running. Enjoy lurking dwarves. Thanks for hanging out, dude. All right, let's look at food here. I kind of like the four food three production trade route. I need this city to grow. It can get to 17 pop already. It's at seven. So I think I dig that. Uh, and then in addition to that, we can double on Buenas, get another. Oh, I got to use the merchant first. And also maybe buy the swordsman. And then I get two more on top of that. The rumors that you will be appearing in the 2021 Men of Twitch calendar. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that, Hotspur. I can neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> There's the silver. So that is our fourth luxury. That question came up too. Uh, we just gained all this vision. So the silver wasn't too, too far away. Uh, it's just not on our not on this land mass at all. Uh, we had also found that off stream here over there. So silver being the fourth luxury on that continent. Our golden age here. Coinage, okay. Coinage. I saw a bank that said. Get started on Rur. Seems okay.
Notice you don't seem to check city state quests too much. Is it because they're not important or because you do them in between YouTube videos? Um, I, I try to check them before the end of the era. That's usually the best time to check your city state quests. Um, but in some games, I don't care about the city states too much, so that maybe that's the case. But no, you should definitely be doing your city state quests, but definitely try to finish them before the end of an era because they'll get new quests. Like Zanzibar here will give us a new quest um, as soon as we go into the industrial era. So. Where do the spaceports go? I'm um, not sure yet. Not sure. We're, 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 we're teching our way there. Did I click a different button here? Because we should be going... No. This is right. Go unlock Oxford. Um, I have Trade Route. I have Courser. I have Courser. Theology and Horseman. Uh, how do I do all of it? So get the horseman. Yeah, we could actually do that. That's a good call. Hey, Sassy, how are you? Happy Monday, my friend. Happy Monday. And one game you forgot you had a, a city with 130 production and no space for a spaceport. Yeah, you need a flatland tile for that spaceport. Keep that in mind at all times. That. Nanya, thank you for the four months and welcome back into the shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to have you here. TGMHI. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. How you doing? Thank you very, very much and welcome back into the shop. All right, so that gives me two more envoys. I could do Lisbon. We could also... <sighs> I can't quite get to Mohenjo, although we kind of can. I don't really need the housing. Our harbor cities are pretty stacked at the moment. I think I like Lisbon here. It's era score. It also helps our harbor buildings. Hello, Blakely. How you doing? All right, how close am I to this? Build seven different specialty districts. We have one, two, three, four. I have five with the industrial zone. Probably just hard tech it. Lost your first ever fame game on Emperor. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Ah, uh, Bojeka, I, I wasn't feeling my best. I've been struggling with allergies and things. Um, so yeah, my, my schedule has been bad again, but I'm back and we're going to have an awesome week. We've got new content coming. going to stream, uh, going to stream Thursday, Friday, Saturday is my goal. Eventually I'll want an encampment here. It's only two turns actually. I want to get that Eureka. I think that's okay. Because they're eventually going to want an encampment for the 15%. Uh, so it's fine to get it now. Thalia! How are you? We love you. It's good to see you again. Thank you so much. Turn 150 save. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. Good looking out, as always. I hope you are well. Uh, Shitan, thank you so much for the brand new sub. I appreciate you. Or is Extian? I don't know. Help me with that pronunciation, will you? Thank you so much. Welcome into the shop. Good to have you here. It's good to see you, Thalia. Uh, you hope that stone tile is flat land? This one is. That That's not a stone tile, but... Uh, we can, we can put our spaceport there. And I know that there won't be another resource on it because it has wheat already. Uh, Fat Butt Biker, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back with that Prime sub as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How does diplomatic visibility work? Uh, does it increase troops damage? Uh, is, does Genghis... Yes, Genghis Khan's whole mechanics are, are derived around diplomatic visibility and the combat that you get. For each level of diplomatic visibility you have above your opponent, you get three combat strength. 
So if you're two levels up, you get six, and Genghis can double that. Uh, Genghis can get like an extra 18 combat strength on, on cavalry really easily. So. No, it's all good, Cinnamon. I, I, I appreciate where your, your head's at. You're thinking about where do we put the spaceport. Hello, Easy Money. How you doing? Uh, New district. Oh, it's my dedication. I can take those tiles back. It's a great, great day for motor car racing, that's for sure. Uh, okay, cool. And then maybe... Get the industrial... No, give me the economic boost. Give me, uh, harbor stuff. I want it. I want it. I don't even need it. It's not a big deal, but I want it. Whoa, whoa, game, can you not? Can you not? And we don't have the protecting. Oh, no, all my science. <laughs> Rip my science. Um... What do? Let me just get this. Hey, Marsh Marshbell, I appreciate you. Thank you for the kind words, and you're very welcome. I hope lockdown is going okay for you. Um, I know for sure in the States, things are slowly opening back up. That doesn't mean it's a great idea to go patronize him. But uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a challenging time. And I'm, I'm so happy to have so many uh, people hanging out. Mythrock, what are your what are your bard questions? I, I feel like I'm a D&D bard expert at this point, And I missed I missed the original question. You guys are talking bard stuff. And I'd love to weigh in. But I don't know what you were talking about. You're in my old city. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Pritzker was being pretty uh, lock it, lock, lock down heavy. I know that like the masks are required and all that stuff. So yeah, it's just kind of a crazy time. Science. This is all good. This is good. Was that my Eureka? Yes, indeed. All right, cool. So we got our Eureka for civil engineering. We can go back to Rur now. Uh, basically trying to get to skyscrapers. Hopefully we have enough time to get all of these things. I'm looking to chop all this out and then move Magnus and make our last couple chops down here for Rur, provided that we need it. Yours didn't get broken? Yours is the one that didn't get broken. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's do that. Witcrafter, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome on back with that Prime sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, no thank shirt, you, thank you. No shirt, no shoes, no masks, no service. <laughs> Is that so hard? Keep up the wisdom, TGN. I love it. Thank you, Wade. I appreciate you. And welcome, welcome back. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Okay. All right, you guys. I think we're in a decent spot in a lot of different respects here. Tested. Assertions <laughs> immune to disprove. What is what is all this? What are you doing to me? These Catholics. Robert, can you stop? Mm, 
probably bring our spy and, and use it defensively here. That's, I think, what I'm most interested in doing. We could also send them out. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we go and try to do a quick mission. Um, I also said I wanted to trade, and we really didn't do that. That's awesome, do that. Yay. I love that. I, I couples that game together stay together. That's 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 what I always say. And that makes me happy to hear you're having such fun. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I should also buy that horse. By it there it makes a little bit more sense. Only 135 needed for a golden here. Fellow TGM viewer couple here. Yay, that's awesome. I love that. Do I know if the upcoming update will feature quality of life interface changes? No idea. I know exactly what you guys know. So if it hasn't been publicly put out by Firaxis, I'm 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 guessing too. We're all just guessing. I don't even care about this too much. I I, I realize I pri I said it was going to be a priority. It's really not. Um, I think Reina. We we want to see if we can squeeze in the Reina for spaceports. Don't know if it'll happen. Don't really know where I want all my spaceports to be. Um, but I think it's at least time to get started there. Maybe maybe I'll move Reyna here after Magnus because this will be a pretty productive city. It's going to get a ton of population, has lots of uh, hills and things. They, could, they might even use an industrial zone at some point. Uh, that's an interesting question. So, sorry, I was reading that. Um, fellow, a question about the AI posing a threat to you after you escaped the early game. I was watching your Pedro game. It seemed like Coupe beat you to almost every key cultural wonder, but you steamrolled everyone despite those setbacks. Do you think the AI ever seriously challenges you later in the game? Does that crimp your enjoyment much, if not? Um, I, I definitely, definitely Diplo. Uh, the AI is very good at, at at seeing you get close to a Diplo win, win and knowing how to counter that. Um, so definitely in those situations, the AI can challenge you late game. I think the AI also kind of is a constant threat to win faith. Um, so you can keep it, keep, keep, you know, keep that in the back of your head while you're, while you're playing. Um, but no, I mean, once, if you get past turn 200, like I'm at the point because I played this game so much that if I'm past turn 200, it's pretty unlikely that we're going to lose. Um, I don't know that it really bums me out. Like there's a really fine line between, uh, having good AI and just making the late game more tedious. I actually like the games where I can do a lot of stuff later in the game. Culture, for example, it's really fun to plan and use all these builder charges and and, and execute basically. Um, so I I don't know I, I if 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 we if they if if the late game AI were more challenging in a meaningful fashion and it wasn't just slowing down our games, you know, like if it. Instead of like screwing us over, they were actually helping themselves, if that makes sense. Like that that type of stuff I'd be okay with. Um, but otherwise, no, it doesn't really bum me out too much. And Rossler, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome on back with that prime sub. And life is overrated. Thank you for the five. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I hope that answers your question to some degree. Go for Taj here. It's kind of funny. repair that for now I mean I'm not really tickled about uh, my putting my districts under volcanoes here especially on that tile it's a good tile I'll just do so here just make a plus one uh, Mr. Hanky, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Plus three campus for you. 
spending money like it's going out of style. Again, I think I like the 3-2 here. And then the next one will go back to money. But I, I need the city to keep growing. Yeah, if you pack in your maps, then yeah, the game gets harder for 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 sure, Ristol. Um, there's been a request recently about doing a uh, like always war game in that vein, uh, and I'm I'm cool with that. We'll get to it eventually. Five turns on this. What you doing that for? Declaring on Scotland. I guess I'm okay with that. Being that Scotland is kind of uh, doing stuff and things, they have uh, they have all this. Oh, hey, by the way, <laughs> this doesn't even make sense anymore. Uh, I'm overriding a fabulous tile to steal a, a, an arguably less good tile, uh, but I'm still going to do it. Judge me if you will. I don't care. So we have turtles for sure. Is there another sea resource that in the game at all? Just turtles everywhere. Just turtles. Could have stolen it back here. Yeah, I kind of wanted to steal the whole thing. I was originally going to put a campus there, but you're right. We could have done it there. Next turn, we'll upgrade this guy to a courser. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess I just grab more turtles with this dude. Maybe I go one more food one. Is that crazy? What's the gold look like? Oops. All right, never mind. There's a food on that one as well. You guys, I watched a lot of The Wire this weekend. That is a good show. That is a good show. <laughs> yeah, I'm like really enjoying it. I just love the characters. Here's what I like about it more than anything. It is a show that expects expects you to keep up. There are a lot of shows out there that hold your hand and don't trust their viewer to have, you know, two brain cells to rub, rub together and create some sparks and stuff. Um, I love that The Wire just kind of moves. It expects you to keep up with the characters. It expects you to keep up with the whole thing. I love that. Trust me to do that. I will do that. Um, and that's, I think, my favorite part about the show. Authors, too. Authors that do that make me very, very happy. All right, so where are we at here? Armory. I'd have to buy up to the armory. The two crossbows we could maybe do. <laughs> Omar coming indeed. On season four, nice. Characters are so well developed. Exactly. Exactly. No, he declared war on Scotland. He's not coming for me. I'm not too worried. Try succession. Hmm. Uh Dritcher, I I I I feel you there. Um I've always been kind of an HBO fan, so I I don't know. It, it, it's it's not so, like, it does feel a little dated. Like, it is a bit of an older show at this point. But it doesn't feel so dated that it's, like, unwatchable or whatever. Am 
But I, I could see that. Like if you go back and try to watch Deadwood or Carnival, even though those are really great shows, um, I could see like not jiving with that. Yeah, Skirmisher, and he's amazing. He's so good in that show. No, we gotta move this one too. Deadwood, best show ever made. Deadwood, Deadwood is an awesome show. I love that one as well. I like gritty. I like uh, I like real. You think Deadwood holds up? I mean, I agree with you, but I, but I could see somebody going back and just kind of being like, I don't feel like I've seen this before. You know, I, I agree that it's an amazing show and worth watching. Um, but I can also see the argument of like, I just don't feel like getting into it, or I can't get into it, or whatever. I never watched The Sopranos. Uh, Zark, Z D Zark Zero, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. You really should. If you can make it through a few episodes of the first season, I think The Wire really hooks you. I've heard good things about uh, Chernobyl for sure. Your girlfriend thinks Breaking Bad is awful and it broke your heart. Oh, oh. Sadly, I will never finish that show. It is a bummer. But Breaking Bad is a great show. Can confirm. Try Justify. I've heard I've heard things about good things about Justified as well. Uh, plus one campus is better than nothing. I guess we'll build it there. All right, is this worth it? I mean, I'm giving them housing and production as we spend all this money. So I realize that we're taking away from Reyna's ability, but we are making this city uh, really, really have a lot of potential and just to build its own. Is my guess what we'll, what we'll wind up doing. I do want to keep that two food or that two production and one food. That seems okay. That one's okay too. I might give them one more food. Oh, Granada. For the envoy. That works. I'm doing a space race, I think, do that. We haven't done one in a while. Oh, Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Why got be like that? Is Zimbabwe worth it down here? Um, no, because I want all my trade routes here with the Ruhr Valley city. So if you can if you can combine Ruhr Valley and Great Zimbabwe, go for it. But in a space race game, I want all of my trade routes in my city that not only needs to grow, but is going to build most of my spaceship stuff. Yeah, I know. Everybody keeps telling me to play it, Director. Uh, we've got a busy week with Civ stuff, so I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but I'm I'm open to getting to it. I just don't know when. There goes Petra. Man is a military Okay, do any of these admirals require re retire into a quad? Forms a fleet, forms an armada. 
I, no, none of them do. Uh, oh, I, I did miss that question. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Where are my favorite authors? Um, fiction or nonfiction? You know, like I, 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 I've, we've talked about this before. If you guys have been following the stream a while, you've this isn't new information. But I love. Um, I'm really a big fan of Brandon Sanderson. I think he he writes a lot of of awesome fantasy. Um, I, I love Pat Rothless. Uh, I wish, I wish, I wish we could get more of, of his stuff cause he's a, a beautiful, uh, poetic writer, um, in my mind. Um, who else? Nice. You lived. Um, who else? Who else do I like? Let's stay fortified here. I haven't read any Graham Hancock, to be honest. I've, I've heard that name, though. <laughs> I get that brain, pal, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Needs to stop having it out with George R. Wait, what do you mean? What, what does she mean by that, dudette? Finish Oathbringer? Nice. Campbell, well, yeah, Campbell, obviously, Campbell, Campbell, Campbell is the the single most influential um, um, writing and 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 just per, I don't know, person seems weird to say, but yeah, Cam Campbell influences so much of my worldview. And yeah, Peter Watts writes some awesome. Uh, has written a couple awesome books. It's hard to say that he's like a favorite author though, because as much as I love Starfish, uh, I don't know what else he's done. Recently read the Stormlight books. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I go through phases of like fiction versus nonfiction, uh, and I oscillate. I oscillate pretty heavily. Like when I'm into reading fiction, I am like into reading fiction, and when I'm ignoring it, I'm just totally doing something else. been non-fiction heavy for a decade i was i that was that was most of my 20s i think was being non-fiction heavy all right so we put in the wonder policy card uh and we can start chopping out this shenanigans i may not even need these chops Yeah, Stormlight's great. Mistborn is great. I love the different variants of Mistborn. Uh, I've like read all the Jim Butcher stuff. Um, Brent Weeks, uh, not 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 Brent Weeks. Um, but yeah, Dresden by D Jim Butcher is amazing. Uh, I really enjoy that. I'm trying to think of uh, who who writes Iron Druid. Ke Kevin Hearn. I, I like Kevin Hearn too. I love Iron Druid series. That's really good. Yeah, Iron Druid's great. Chicago Bias. I mean, that de definitely like reading uh, the Jim Butcher stuff, like the Dresden series, like the fact that it's Chicago stuff definitely makes it cooler. Like definitely makes it that much more interesting and and stuff like that. So I'll get a crossbow here to maybe deal with some of this. Uh, the Brent Weeks um, Starfish. Will Starfish by Brent Weeks is is. One of the best sci-fi uh, books I've ever read. I I absolutely adore that that uh, that that series. It's a trilogy. I don't really want my trade route here. I want it here. So we'll go after an easy mission here to see if we can get a level or so on our spy. Like spoilers, but it's really cool. Like Sue from the uh, from the Field Museum trouncing, trouncing uh, 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 um, <laughs> Evanston is just such an amazing, amazing scene. Yeah. There goes Oxford. 
Hefest, Hefest. All right, end of the era coming up. You know what? I actually haven't read Ender's Game. I feel like I need to duck. Bozthias! Hey, buddy! Thank you so much for the repeat sub! <laughs> Do you guys know where I could get one of those gold necklaces with the T on it? I mean, uh... <laughs> uh, yes, I do. But I can't tell you. Sorry. I don't mean to be a tease. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. You guys should be following Bose Theus as well. Uh, uh, I, I, what's your streamer story a little bit, Bose? I, 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 how long have you been wanting to stream and how long have you been streaming? I, I, I'm embarrassed to say I don't know that. Uh, you've been rewatching Arrested Development again. Such a good show. Such a good show. What are we building here? I don't really need Taj, I don't think. It's like 2010. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Right on, dude. Yeah, go go follow Bozeus playing uh, Civ 6 these days. I think we've converted him. One of us. One of us. Is Newton up? Newton's not up yet. Newton might be gone already. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Um. Hey, look, I got my tiles. <laughs> and all it cost me was like a 10 yield tile. <laughs> it's really more the principle of it at that point. All right, so where can Darwin go? Ooh, that's a good spot. Causeway's okay. Oh, that'll work too. Might be easier to get to that. Uh, okay, I can't keep saying no to 29 gold per turn. Oh my god, stop it. Stop. Oh, I'm sorry. Brent Weeks, you know what? I was thinking Brent Weeks um, as Peter Watts in my head. Peter Watts did Starfish. Brent Weeks did the Lightbringer, which I really enjoy. I don't know that I would say it's like... I don't know. I, I liked it a lot, actually. I, I, I don't really want to. I don't want to mitigate. I don't want to. I don't want to disclaim that. I'm, I, I, I misspoke there. I, I apologize. I know I need that Liang promotion, but honestly, it's like the other places that are hurting me a lot. But yeah, I, I read all the Lightbringer, which I really like. It's like color-based magic, and I love that. Tumasak, thank you so much for the repeat sub. Welcome on back. And welcome back for 15 months overall. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. You like the Wheel of Time the most? I, I, it's not that I enjoy criticizing it. It's just that I really didn't enjoy the series. Uh, I, I don't go out of my way to uh, curb stomp it just because I, I, I feel like so many people do love it and it's a sensitive topic. Um, and I, I get that, but it just didn't speak to me. So 
I need eight more era score and eight turns. Yeah, my PC stuff is down in the description on Twitch there. Hey, Neurodrum. How you doing? It's good to see you. Let's just chill. Should be getting several wonders this era, I hope. In fact, I think I'm going to buy more builders to make that happen. Seven turns on this now. All right, we're going to get that just organically, I think. Hey, you broke. Okay. <laughs> More admirals. How am I the only one with harbors in this game? What is happening? <laughs> okay. I'm going to get a privateer for that. <laughs> nice neurodrome. Yeah, the uh the grocery store excursion. That's as much as I've left my house at like this year, period. <laughs> Just really sad. I could buy those buildings. <laughs> hey, Sagador, how you doing? Thanks for sharing your story a little bit, Bose. Yes, appreciate you, man. As always. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you, bud. Okay, bring you down here. Um, how much more harbor stuff are we building? Not much. Just that. So why don't we drop veterancy? I think this we 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 got some usefulness out of that. Um, and then I can go for logistics and chop more efficiently here. Uh, seems okay. Goes the Huey. It is arguable. All right, let's fix some of this stuff. And then just push for chemistry. Two neighborhoods never happens. All right, so let's go ahead and put a cut in the video here. We're fixing up some stuff, obviously getting a little pummeled with some disasters, uh, but otherwise in a pretty decent spot. We do need to find seven era score in six turns. Uh, I believe we we should have that pretty much covered in the wonders themselves. Uh, and then we can always we can always like buy a great person or do something like that should we need to. Uh, there's Dimitri. Yeah, see, no no Newton yet. Um, yeah, we'll put a cut in the video here. If you've been watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.